Hi, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about data-driven decision-making, what it is uh, and the value. When we work with manufacturing companies, we often find them in situations where they are facing a lot of competitive pressures, raw materials are getting much more expensive, people are much harder to hire and keep uh, in the companies, and a whole host of other challenges. And then when you think about the plant floor itself, on the plant floor, companies are challenged with downtime issues, production, scheduling, uh, delivering on time, uh, supplier issues, again, hiring people, etc. And when we think about how companies could solve those challenges, it comes down to data. But often enough, companies are trying to use their ERP systems to solve those challenges. But we find that ERP systems have only about 15% of the data, if even less than that, uh, of the data available in the organization. Companies have a lot more data available to them, but it's really hidden. It's what some call the hidden factory or dark data. You have PLC machines on the plant floor that each of them has a whole lot of data that could be really viable when connected with other data in given context. There are a whole bunch of Excel files and PDF files and Microsoft Access databases and pieces of paper that have really interesting and valuable data. And those pieces of paper and Excel files are used to communicate that data, but it's slow, inaccurate, uh, and ineffective. So what is a company to do? Well, the idea would then be for that company to become a data-driven organization, to connect that plant floor with that, uh, the business unit uh, in that middle layer, or that, that middle layer of the cake that we often refer to, a carrot cake with cream cheese icing, which is the best icing ever, uh, and connect the two uh, parts of the, the organization together in that middle layer, that manufacturing execution uh, uh, systems layer get them to connect and help the organization become a data-driven organization, which is to be uh, a company with a single version of the truth, tools to be able to access the data, the data itself is available, people know how to use that data, and most importantly, they are enabled to make decisions, innovate with that data, and take action based on that data. When companies do this, we find uh, the value can be pretty significant. One study we often quote is a study that says that for every one dollar you spend, uh, in data analytics and becoming a data-driven organization, you can get $13 back. Now, I wish that I could give somebody $1 and get $13 back uh, in the short term. We have to consider that this is a short, medium, and a long-term effort. That's why we talk about digital transformations going from where you're at right now to this nirvana, this uh, holy grail state of becoming a data-driven organization uh, as, a, as a long process, it's a journey. But uh, the sooner people start, the sooner organizations start going down that road, the better. Uh, think about some of the, the, the improvements and capabilities that companies can have. You can become a much more competitive organization. More companies are thinking about this, but not a lot of companies are truly making significant efforts and significant progress on doing this. And so if you can be some of the first companies in your market space to connect all the data in your organization and get real-time visibility directly into the plant floor of what's going on and then share that, or that data across the organization so people in leadership and people on the plant floor at the foundation of the company can have that data, then you can easily beat out your competition uh, around uh, efficiencies, using the current assets you have, around uh, quality, around innovation in the plant floor and innovation in the products that you actually create for your customers. There's a lot of changes uh, and improvements that you can make that can really help the competitive capabilities of your company. One of the other areas that can really benefit an organization uh, is to be able to drive action and innovation. Again, like I've said, getting that data uh, down to the plant floor and enabling people to use that data because those people know what's going on in the organization. They can use that data to really understand where the challenges are at, what else is going on, uh, and then use that data to, to improve uh, how the organization is running. But it really comes down to sharing the data, again, single version of the truth, and sharing with everybody, uh, and then enabling them to actually work with the data, make decisions, and most importantly, to take action, to innovate with that data. And lastly, one other point that I'll make uh, out of a bunch of points that one could set, talk about for the value of data-driven decision-making is, with that data, you can improve the company culture. Actually, there's one other too. 
improving the company culture is kind of an interesting one. We've seen some organizations recently where the plant floor, the foundation of the organization, and the leadership are really, truly, and sadly disconnected. Leadership thinks that they're the smartest people in the room, and the people on the plant floor, the core of the organization, the true reason that company is there and doing as well as they are, believe that leadership doesn't care one whit about what they're doing uh, and how they're, how they're doing. Uh, all they want to do is to just get more productivity out of them. We have found that when you're actually starting to work on helping a company become a data-driven organization, by the nature of the fact that you have to create the single version of the truth and enable people to use that data, make decisions on that data, and take action and innovate on that data, you are then empowering them uh, and recognizing that they have a lot of value in the organization and that they can improve things. And so they start to actually recognize that leadership is here to work with them, not to uh, <laughs> smash them in the ground and, and crack the whip and try to drive more productivity out of them. Uh, so that then really starts to change the culture and also leadership needs to have a change in mindset to be an enabler and to help work with these organizations rather than uh, to uh, try to work uh, against uh, the shop floor. Once this uh, nature of you know, data-driven organizations really starts to develop, uh, those relationships can really drive uh, a much better uh, and cohesive uh, organization. So it can completely change the culture. Uh, the last point, the, the last one that I uh, actually do have here is uh, being able to make decisions based on data, uh, that real-time visibility uh, into the plant floor, that single source of the truth that everybody would have, can start to help a company scale and grow. So, reviewing some of the ideas we've already uh, talked about, the, the whole thing really comes together. If you can incur increase your competitive in the uh, industry, if you can improve your culture, uh, if you can actually drive a lot better and more valuable actions and innovate, uh, then at that point you're going to be running much more efficiently as an organization and be able to drive a lot more uh, scale and growth in the organization. Appreciate you uh, sticking around for this uh, short video. Uh, please leave some comments below. We'd love to hear from you about this topic. Uh, if you have any feedback, questions, suggestions, recommendations on other topics, please let us know.